Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this headband. For this tutorial you're going to need some safety pin and pins. You're going to need scissors, tape measure and fabrics of course. You're going to need two long fabric measuring 40 by 6 inches. One is satin and the other one is Ankara. As long as the fabric is not stretchy, then you need another five by five inches. So you need three five, five, five by five inches. Then you need the interface or batten to just give the bow a structure. Two of the five by five inches material will be for the bow. And the third one will just be the strap to hold it, which I'll be showing you later. Right. So for the long fabrics, the 40 by six inches fabric, we're going to sew that together, right sides facing each other. You can actually use a needle and thread if you're really good at sewing by hand to make this tutorial. And it's quite easy and straightforward, really. So just pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to pin the sides down. So I'm going to be sewing both sides. If you're new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe, like if you like what you see <laughs> and don't forget to comment and share with your friends and family. Right, so we're going to sew the sides down. So we're going to sew both sides like so, which we've done and we're going to turn it the right side out. Oh yeah, taking my time, aren't I? <laughs> so going to turn the right side out and we're going to iron. When you're ironing, make sure that you're ironing right on the seam so the bottom fabric is not peeking out. So like so, you have to sort of roll the, roll the fabric back and then make sure you iron it that way. And there you have it, nice and flat. And now we're going to get our elastic. My elastic measures 20 inches. And I think 20 inches works perfectly for me. Even I can wear this headband. The good thing about this headband, because of the elastic, my daughter can wear it. I can wear it. So we're going to need two of those. So it's 20 inch. And the width of this elastic is half an inch. I'm just going to show you that. It's about half an inch. So, yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a casing for the elastic. We're going to measure three quarter of an inch or an inch from the edge of the fabric. And as you can see, because the elastic is half an inch, you need to make the casing a bit bigger than the actual elastic. So, I'm measuring three quarters of an inch. You can go up to an inch, but for mine, it's three quarters of an inch. So we're going to sew along. You can use a chalk instead of a pin. <laughs> I don't have a chalk. I don't know. I can never find my chalks. So just going to sew along that line that we've marked. And then we're going to insert the elastic. I need to get chalks, but there's lockdown at the moment, so I, I'm going to have to wait. <laughs> but if you have a chalk, just draw the line instead of using the pins as I've done in this video. So we're just going to insert the elastic. Just make sure the other end doesn't escape, because if it does, you have to start all over again. So I just use a pin to sort of hold it up. Be careful. <laughs> There you go. So hold that side down. We're going to do the same for the other end. I'm just adjusting it. And by the way, if when you're making yours, you can even make the fabric longer if you want more gathers in your in your headband. So if you want it more gathered, then you can make make it 50 by 6 inches. It's up to you. Play around with it be creative so i'm just inserting the other side 
and that's what it looks like I've, now we're going to do some sewing so to sew the edges i know you'll be tempted to do the ankara to um facing the ankara but no we're going to do satin facing satin because that way everything is covered up you'll see it towards the end so we're going to sew it satin facing satin like so just pinning it down and what i tend to do when I, you do 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 a straight a straight stitch but what i tend to do is do a zigzag stitch where the elastic is i just do a little zigzag stitch on the elastic after doing a straight stitch now for the bow we're going to i've already ironed on my batten and then i've sewn it all the way around and then for the strap as well so i've sewn it lengthwise just getting rid of the excess fabric and this is how i turn my fabric inside out with my safety pin those little fabrics where you can't get your arms your hands through it use a safety pin so everything is sewn we have the bow the square for the bow ready the strap to hold everything in place i'm just snipping the edges of the um, square i know you're thinking are you going to turn it the right side out everything is sewn up well the trick is for this sort of airband anyway the trick is to snip make sure it's in the middle we're going to snip the fabric make sure you're not cutting both fabrics snip the back fabric see then we're going to push everything through don't worry nobody's going to say because we're going to be sewing it to the other fabric anyways so it's nice and neat don't worry you see what i mean once we get there i'm just using the I'm just using the scissors to push the corners so it comes out properly. Just be careful not to poke a hole um, with your scissors. Be careful with the scissors. Take your time guys. Sewing, when sewing, don't rush. Take your time, enjoy. I find it therapeutic actually. <laughs> That's why I enjoy sewing so much. I daydream, think about everything when I'm sewing. So I find this very relaxing. If you're if you've never sewn before, I think you should give it a try. And sewing machines, you can find cheap sewing machines. You can even find eighty pound sewing machines. My first sewing machine was only, it's less than a hundred pounds when I started sewing. So there we have it. Now we're going to um, sew, as you can see, that will be down like that. And we're going to sew a straight line across like so. And there we have it. We've done our straight line. Now we're going to form a bow by... You know, like when you're making a fan paper or paper fan, should I say? Yeah, this, yeah, like so. I don't know how to explain it, but as you, you can see what I'm doing, squeeze the middle, fold the middle backwards and then fold the one end backwards and the other end backwards. It's quite straightforward. If you know how to make fan paper, just make sure the top and the bottom are facing backwards. And there you have it. And then you will put the little uh, piece of um, fabric over it. We're going to sew that along. Make sure the seam is facing outwards when you're before you sew. Make sure it's facing outwards. Then we're going to turn it. As you can see, the seam is facing outwards. And then we're going to turn it. Yes, this is a struggle. <laughs> 
but don't worry, you will get there in the end. Just be patient. Sewing will teach you patience. Trust me. Just keep going. I'm. I purposely left this in the video so you can see the struggle. So don't worry. If you're new to this and you're thinking, oh, I wish, I, nah, don't worry. Everybody struggles. Everybody. <laughs> Don't let this edited videos um, fool you. It's a struggle. <laughs> you see, I just use uh, my scissors as well to just help me a little bit to push out the fabric. But be careful with the scissors. Don't go and poke a hole after we've finished sewing. As you can see, there we go. Yeah, we did it. And that's the end result, guys. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for another video.